finest cars in Gran Turismo 6 has finally come back which is the Pagani Herrera 2013 is now ready to go to race in Gran Turismo Sport for a custom race. So good thing that this is a very good color with a carbon fiber tone version and this is definitely quite very excellent to be able to get everything ready to go. So looks like this is going to be quite an excellent good hybrid car to take a good look at the settings. So this is definitely an Anton 700 hypercar vehicle so this is definitely quite very good so maybe this will be able to show because the max horsepower is 730 HP max torque is 811.8 weight pound is 2976 and this drive train is an MR mid-engine vehicle so this is definitely drives very good and then looks like the transmission gear is a 7 speed transmission so everything is quite very good to be able to get started so this is a very good hypercar to be able to race well for it so this is going to be quite excellent to be able to get ready for another race so this is going to be quite very extraordinary to be able to have a Herrera to be able to race in so I hope that there might be some other N700 cars like the McLaren 650S Lamborghini Aventador or maybe the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. So maybe this is going to be quite surprising to be able to, to see which one of the N700 hypercar is definitely going to be the strongest or the mostest to be able to see it for it. So right now this will be able to race on the Autodrome Lago Maggiore Grand Prix. So this is going to be excellent for the hypercar to be able to go by a daytime. So hypercars are fairly high fast performance because this is definitely giving a good style and a good interior view to see it. So this is a very good style of this interior of the Herrera because this is going to be quite fascinating to be able to race it for it. So right now this is going to be able to have four laps to be able to get started. So this is going to be able to get a good extended time to be able to go pro at it. So this is going to be quite very prepared to be able to go for a real condition because this hypercar is now ready to go and have that good color with a carbon fiber. So maybe this is definitely quite good to be able to choose any kinds of version colors with or without carbon fibers. So this is definitely quite very amazing for it. Now the engine is now ready to be prepared. And now here's one of the N700 cars for the starting grid to be get ready. So looks like racing up with the Lamborghini Aventador, Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, 1967 Chevy Nova and 650S, also with the Ansel Ferrari as well. So this is going to be quite an excellent good hypercar challenge to be able to get ready because this is going to be one good fast performance to be able to see this fine Italy's hypercar to be able to get ready. So let's start. This is going to be quite good to see this handling it might be quite turn out well for it. So this is definitely quite very good for a nice interior view to take a look at it. So this is definitely a black version that when you're purchasing with a carbon fiber in it. A single color without a carbon fiber, it also has an alternate interior view to see it. So this is going to be quite good to be able to see the differences of the Pagani Herrera. So speaking of each certain model of the Herrera, it also has a 2011 version of it because this is definitely the first version of the Pagani Herrera. It was definitely seen in Gran Turismo 6. Well, I kind of guess surprising that the same Pagani Herrera with a different year model is quite very surprising to be able to find out which is definitely the same. So looks like this is definitely able to be determined to choose for it. So they might say that the 2013 is definitely the most finest good model for it with a good excellent horsepower and even a 15th anniversary variant was definitely included as well. Well, most, most other Grand Turismo players have made it and they just really want to try it out and see how it feels for it. This is definitely quite very extraordinary excellent to be able to have a one good 15th library variant as a 15th anniversary edition 
models is definitely shown for it. So even so, that this is going to be quite giving a good performance to be able to drive well. Just going to go a little nice and easy, and this is going to be quite giving a good turn on it. Now, over there onto the hood view, because there might be some wing parts to be able to pop up along with the rear. So this is, might be where both of the wing parts on front and rear while braking. So that could be quite giving it extra support. So that will might be quite giving some more handling turns to be able to get a support to be able to have both of the wing parts to be using in for it. Now this will be able to go slowly and then this will also be seen pop up for it. And look at the nice engine sound, it is very realistic. So this is drive pretty well to be able to get improvement on it. So, looks like this will be able to go a little nice and easy turn to be able to keep it up for it. While taking a turn, that will also to show the wing parts to be able to pop up. So that will also to be revved up again when the wing parts are about to be moving up again. And then this will be able to keep up the handling turns to be able to keep up for it. Now, looks like going in to be able to make a good run again for it. Just keep up the grip and then this will keep at it to be able to maintain the pace. So surprisingly, Bagani Harira is might be gonna be the first place vehicles will be able to join in to be able to get a good most highly efficient hypercars in the N700 category. So this will be able to be very prepared because wing parts are definitely quite very useful to be able to get a good reliable ability to be able to get a good handling turn to be able to get everything a little bit nice and smooth. So, looks like going in on the 400 meter front to be able to go straight faster to it. Two Harairas is now going on to making a good opportunity for the top three. So, a good thing that the red color is definitely quite very relatively thick because the carbon fiber is very excellent to choose. So, better have to make sure because having a little bit hard turn to be able to make it work on steer to be able to keep it nice and steady. Better have a breaking point whenever there is something problem going on while performing a corner. So, here, here I am entering to the top three between the Pagani Harira. This is going to be quite excellent to be able to see how the three Harairas swing together to see which one is definitely the most with a good different color type style with a carbon fiber. Now this is going to be a good excellent performance efficiency so this will be able to go a little bit nice and easy to be able to get a good turn on it. Almost there to reach the final lap and then this is going to be able to get a good time to save it. So first place in the lead. So I really guess that differences between the same models in different years. So looks like this is definitely quite very good to see the Herrera as a 2013 model by current. So good thing that this is definitely quite very surprising that there are two Pagani Herreras I've never seen it since the playing Grand Turismo 6. So it also shows us the year model. Well, definitely the 2011 is definitely the original. And this one, of course, 2013 is definitely the current hopper car model. That was definitely quite very amazing to be able to use this good style vehicle to be able to drive fast for it. So it also has a, a BBC version of the Herrera with a wing part on it. That could be quite surprising that this is definitely quite very good because the Ferrari is definitely popular in any other racing game. So, standard one is de definitely pretty good for having the wing parts pop up for it while taking on the freaking turn. So that might be quite very relatively to be able to have a Ferrari variant type model to definitely able to show it for us. 
Now, looks like this is going to be even a film closing in for it because the top three is still keep going on for every N700 category, folks. This is going to be quite very good if the Lamborghini Adventure would be able to step in to be able to challenge with the Ferrari again because this is definitely quite giving a good start to be able to have a one good hybrid car challenge. Going in, just going to go a little bit light turn to be very careful. Final lap, here we go, and this is going to be a Rairatastic moment to be able to have a good race on it, folks. Now, this is going to be quite very excited to be able to have the March update to be able to have five cars to be able to try out and give us one good ride for having a good custom race gameplay. So, he'll be able to have to be back continuing on to keep stacking up more credits while racing on Route X will be able to have an important thing to do. But this one is very highly expensive like the mechanics on the R. So this is definitely quite very good to be able to get a good handling turn to be able to drive in and then this will be able to get a good handling skill to be able to see if while the wing parts are definitely shown up to be able to pop up to be able to go on it. Up. This is going to be quite giving a good easy way to be able to make a good turn on it. One more straight run and then this is going to be on its way for it. So this is going to be able to switch back in onto the interior view to be able to give a look around on it. But just only for a little bit because you might be able to see it. So the kind of the interior also shows the carbon fiber on the inside. So this is definitely quite very good to see on the black letter on the steering wheel, which is definitely able to show us to be able to get a good handling capability for it. So other players, when buying a Pagani Carrera without a carbon fiber, a different version of the interior color was definitely shown. And yep, and if you really want to buy a color with a carbon fiber two-tone version, the black color is definitely able to see it. So this is definitely also to compare the differences while when you're trying out the beginning of Ryra, it's going to be quite giving the good excellent differences of each interior style here and the exterior model as well. So, looks like this is going to be a one good win because Take a good look at the racing results. Five Pagani Herreras. That was so very awesome to see it. But maybe no other hypercars cannot face the Herreras because they are quite underrated performance hypercars to be able to race it for it. So right now, this is going to be a good first place earnings because five Pagani Herreras is definitely quite very surprising. But this is very cool. Now I really guess that this is very interesting to see it. So this is definitely also the show by the lap chart. Because this is going to be quite an excellent to be able to get a good look on it. So looks like one of the top 5 Pirara drivers is definitely quite getting a little bit easy as well. That, will, that did a lot of good homework on it because this will be able to see the lap chart to see this is going to be quite very good. Now, maybe let's go for the next course because this is going to be able to get everything ready up and go. Because this will be able to have a segment on this field. Well, might be able to have to go for G6 tracks because this is going to be able to have everything possible for it. Currently in G Sports. Mount Panorama and Red Boat Ring and even the Branch Hatch Grand Prix is definitely one of the three tracks that's definitely used for it. Now let's go and give everything to choose for the next track. So right now maybe this will be able to have a reunion to be remembered to be able to play. So let's go with Mount Panorama to be able to get started. So 
This is going to be able to get a good technical challenging turns on it. So this is going to be one cheer Australian moment to be able to get everything ready up and go for it. Now, let's prepare to get ready for a Mount Panorama race. And let's go for it. So, looks like there might be five beginning survivors will be able to coming in for a race. So, might be able to give a little bit count because there's only two and this is how I'm currently using for it. So this will be able to count how many Pagani drivers are in the race. So this is going to be able to do the math because this will be able to do a little bit guess to be able to find out and find the difference on it. Okay, so that's two. So this will be able to keep racing. Just kind of keep focused. So this is definitely able to use the Mount Panorama track to be able to challenge the hypercar to be able to give a little bit good technical turns to be able to get fair. So this will be able to keep in track because this is going to get a little bit risky to be able to experience for it. Right? So the Venator is having a little problem with the way and then selfish for recovery. Keep at it. And then this will be able to climb up better to be able to get a good overtake run for it. Ready, make a good overtake turn, be able to go at it, and save it for the downhill. Okay, so this is going to be the hard part to be able to be very careful. That could be the worst part whenever you're getting caught on the grass part. So this will be able to have to do a little counter right turn when there's a problem going on. So this will be very careful when you're breaking the beginning of the Okay, just gonna keep it up and then try to have to be very carefully still for it. Then giving a good chance and then this will climb back up onto the throttle again. This is gonna be quite very easy to be able to do a little bit more technical corner fight difficult. So looks like this is gonna be able to warn hypercar performance practice drive here a bit epidemically for it. And it looks like there's another Pagani Garaira. Now definitely now joining in and that's a number three spot on it. So this will be able to keep counting Pagani Garairas, so this will be able to do the guess. Okay, next lap, this is going to be able to go for a little 8 minute run to be able to go at it. So, let's keep up and keep driving until that this will be able to bring the Dorira in the lead. And I hope that this is going to be quite very perfect to be customized on the Dorira using the library editor. That's what the creation is talking about, having new rides for the update. This is going to be quite very enjoyable to keep better than ever. Okay, Enzo Ferrari is definitely digging in to be able to get everything a little bit step up closer for it. Just keep a little bit nice and calm, then give a little bit throttle to be able to keep it nice and easy to be making the right chance to open it. Excellent. And it looks like number four Hirama is definitely coming in to be surprised. Now looks like this is gonna be quite good to be able to have the fourth one. And looks like here's the fifth one, it's the yellow color. So this is definitely quite very giving the differences to be able to have the color with the color with carbon fiber. That could be quite giving the difference to be able to surprise for it. Okay, keep it nice and easy. This is going to be very focused to be able to have the good section on this front. Make 
make it wide open straight, and then this bird keeps on flying. Very excellent, and then just kind of keep the brake pressure on and keep it going. So I hope that this is definitely quite having a good breeze with five Kenny arrivals. And 700 is definitely giving a new set of challenge to be able to bring the most strong and popular car in. That could be quite very surprising to be able to get a good division for it. Hope wonder what the N800 car class is doing. So looks like definitely able to keep using the Lamborghini Fenio and the Austin Martin Vulcan because they definitely are the most strongest hypercar classes for it because they're just definitely semi vehicles that's definitely giving a good high performance rate for it. Now it looks like it's coming in a little bit closer because the race is about to be over soon. Good thing that first place in the lead is definitely quite giving a good relatively speed to come closer on at it. Now, looks like this is going to be quite going in to be able to go at it. So maybe this will be able to have a full part with only five tryout vehicles. That could be quite very surprising to be able to have five new vehicles to be able to climb into one to be able to have a good segment on it. So this is definitely quite giving a good choice to be able to get started for it. So I really am glad that I just remember having a good time to be able to try out the TDR Tuscan C6. Just only have to save it for the only first three parts of the race and then this will have to make it into a full part. So this maybe you guys really want to watch this because this will be able to have a good solution. Be able to have one vehicle for only a custom race to be able to go at it for it. Now, looks like this is going to be good to be able to keep the throttle up tight to be able to go straight to it. Excellent good performance and then this will go straight to it. There you go, that might be able to have a one good turn to keep it steady on it. Concentration is important to be with the mastering the handling on every certain hypercar. Now, looks like this is going to get everything well balanced out to be able to get everything controlled for this hypercar. And then, here we go, final lap, and this is going to be the only moment that we should probably get prepared. Now let's pick that hyper car up and then get ready to accelerate to be able to go for the best. Now, so just gonna be careful. Give this handling to turn to be able to get everything nice and easy. for giving us one good hill climbing. Now, this is going to be a decent race to be able to get a good hill and start to be able to go in for it. Okay, keep at it. So, better to make sure to avoid getting caught the sand traps, so this is going to be able to have a right turn or left turn in case that there might be an issue turn going on for it. Very good close call to be able to get a good steep downhill. Now this is going to be quite very excellent for a fast hopper car to be able to go at it. Because this is going to be very amazing for an N700 car. So maybe you guys think that this is going to be quite very good to be able to challenge the Bugatti Veyron and the LaFerrari. 
because that was definitely the most unstoppable few goals that could be able to be prepared for the challenge. Now, looks like this is going to be able to have a little bit more versus weight to be able to be very careful. Having a little obstacle might be going to be a little bit difficult for the Jiraira to be able to drive carefully to be able to go in nice and easy on it. Taking on the final stretch in and then this will be quite very easy to be able to get a good concentration to be able to have a good smooth turn with the apex on it. Now, I really guess that this race could be quite very good but so close for the Rip Pariah that we'll be able to climb up to be able to be in the top five. So the top four is definitely quite very good. So the fifth one is definitely might need to be able to have to do some little concentrations to make its way to be able to do an overtake. So looks like this is a pretty good race for having a clean race bonus. It's definitely quite getting good successful. But this is going to be quite an excellent race to be able to go at it for it. Now maybe going in to take one more race is going to be able to do for the best. So maybe let's see this is going to be quite good to be well checked on the, each certain track to be able to go for it. So maybe let's see this will be quite excellent if this is going to be able to choose which one of the tracks might be go for it. So maybe let's go for the red boat ring and then this is going to be able to get everything prepared. Because this is going to be able to do the final round of this race. So this will be quite very sure to be able to save it until the next day. We'll be able to bring out the fifth one. So this is going to be quite excellent for having a good segment of this race to be able to be prepared. So here we are. Racing on the red boat ring is definitely going to be the main purpose to be able to get ready for the final race. Now here we go, let's do it. Last round for trying out the Pagani Driver for the hybrid car race is going to be started. So this will last four laps to be able to get ready because this will be able to get everything started to be able to have one good smooth turn to be able to go on the first corner. Looks like the Dodge Charger is definitely able to step things up to be able to charge it up to be able to get a good horsepower to speed up quicker than any other fiber cars. Because that could be a one horn muscle vehicle, which is definitely called the hyper muscle car. That could be quite getting a good stronger to be able to keep up for it. Now let's pull that throttle up and then this will have to make a good overtake pass and run for it. A few other Chevy Novas, McLarens, Lamborghini, Zambos, and some Ferraris are definitely able to go in for it. So this is going to be able to drive very carefully to be able to keep it nice and steady to be able to make a good opportunity to be able to go there. Stay on it. This is going to be able to get a good turn run on it. Very good. So this is going to be a, a good, excited for a five moment for one good, excited to be able to catch up for it. Keep it steady. This is going to be able to have a lot of concentration to do it by important. Now this is going to be excellent to be able to keep it up enough to be able to speed up faster for it. Like handling corners is definitely important to take the responsibility for any vehicle to be able to drive well. Okay, looks like there's the red Gyrira with the same carbon fiber I just used for it. carefully and then giving a little bit of time to recover for it. Well, definitely a late turn is definitely not too late for it. There you go. Just gonna take a little bit chance to overtake the Enzo Ferrari. So this is gonna get a little bit tricky to be able to get a little bit nice and slow. Okay, going 
going at it. This is gonna get everything one realistic challenge to be able to be prepared for it. Excellent. Now, looks like time to take on the first place here, Ryra, and it's definitely number one. So, this will be able to film because the early Apex will be coming in to use the main breaking wheel to be able to help out for it. Now, looks like this will be able to keep coming up closer for it. Just halfway there, almost gonna reach it to the end and then this is gonna be quite good for the third lap we'll be able to reach up to the final part now looks like this will have to push it up and then looks like a lime green Pagani Karaya joins in for the race this is gonna be very perfect so this one is definitely the lime green color with the carbon fiber so this is excellent well to be able to have a good vehicle with a good color on it. So looks like this is going to become closer to be able to have a one fine step turn to be able to get a little bit carefully for it. So the hat light may be quite good functional for use for it because one many are just a certain car to be able to on the touch screen for button to be able to turn the hazard lights on for it. Now, looks like when taking first place, one of the four Pagani Karairas is about to be able to get a good chance to be able to catch up. So, looks like might be able to, have to find a good way to overtake the pad. Then, top five might be coming up for having a one good race result to be able to come in for it. Just gonna have that slow turn, keep going carefully on it. Now, looks like the final lap is going to be prepared. And this is where the best part will be able to get everything prepared to be able to go on for the most excited part to be able to race on it. Hard right turn on this corner and then we'll be able to press forward. Okay, keep it nice and careful. Okay, looks like the line between Ferrara is to make the overtake run, so Ferris keeps a little bit harder to be able to do it quick. Back in the, in the lead, and then this could be getting one good chance to be able to go closer on it. Now, perfect nick of time for one final turn apex guidance to be able to help. One final stretch. Going in for one good victory bet again in Gariva with a carbon fiber to take the checker flag for a good win. Now, looks like this is a pretty good fun race for using Gariva's. So, looks like this is a definitely good result for the top five. It's definitely well balanced, organized support. So, this is going to be one good efficient top speed run and then good handling turns for every track will be able to mastering with the Harira hypercar could be quite very excellent. So, looks like first place earnings by standard and then this is gonna be quite very excellent. So, looks like this is a pretty good race for only three rounds. So, looks like this is gonna be able to get a good time to be able to take a break and then this is gonna be able to go back to be able to get started. So, the Pagani Harira is now 
separately racing in as a hypercar category to be able to race in a good high performance vehicle with a good wing parts on the front and rear. So taking a nice and steady is definitely the key of the concentration while racing on the corners. So this will be able to get a good mid-engine hypercar that will be able to get everything quite very good. And this is definitely the second Pagani vehicle was definitely arrived in Gran Turismo Sport as part of the March 2019 update. So this is the number two to be arrived as well and the Sonda R is the number one as a Group X. N700 for Hirara. This looks very excited to be able to use this hypercar to be able to get ready to the race. So maybe for the next and last it might be the best moment to get ready to try out with the McLaren F1 GTR BMW 1995, the most finest legendary race car in 1995, 24 hours of Le Mans. Because this is going to be the most moment to be able to try out the fifth car for this update. And it looks like four cars has definitely did well. This is going to be quite categorized in order. It is definitely quite very amazing for it. Well folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race. Thanks for watching. So be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. And don't forget to click the bell for some notification for uploads if you want to see. And also the links on the description down below if you really want to see more. So, I'll be seeing you guys next time to continuing on for the last new ride on the Gran Turismo Sport on March 2019 update. And I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing. Stay cool.